Hi again. So there are three purposes for uh, this video. The first is, well, I found a circuit online that says you can build an RF generator for testing filters. And I happen to have a filter here that we can do a little bit of test on, so I guess this is going to work. The second is I'm using a different camera to record what you're seeing right now. And I want to see how that works. And third is I've got a new piece of gear over here. It's a huge box. Compare that to the size of the tech scope. It's about twice as big. And we'll get to that in a bit. But let's take a look at the circuit real quick. And I've already got this all built up uh, on the breadboard right here. So we've got a 12 volt supply. I'm using, what is that, 9 instead? Doesn't matter. Here's a filter section. See that inductor and two capacitors right there? That's a filter. And I've got that built up here with a slightly different valued uh, inductor and a two capacitors there. Next comes a fixed resistor and a variable resistor to set a bit of voltage and allow a bit of current flowing through the diode. And this diode, by the way, is a Zener diode. I think the text says 6.8 volts somewhere. Uh, yep, right there. And instead of 6.8 volts, I've used a 6.2 volt Zener diode. There's our variable resistor, and that sets the base voltage. And we've also got the fixed resistor right there. Now the transistor is going to pick up uh, any of this noise that's being uh, generated here, and it's going to make that a little bit noisier, and it's going to do a little bit of feedback going on here. And it's going to spit that noise out of the output across the cap. These two parallel resistors, I believe in the text says, uh, just uh, sets the current going through here, this branch, and the values aren't that important, so I just stuck a uh, 470 in there. And I believe when you calculate the uh, parallel resistance, it does end up being something like 400 and something, so that'll work just fine. So we've got the uh, HF meter reading the base voltage, and I've set it at the point with the resistor where it starts to generate noise. Let's take a look at this on, not the tech scope today, but this thing today. Alright, so here we have this crazy piece of gear. It's got a whole lot of buttons and a whole lot of uh, BNC inputs and outputs. So, let's take a look at the oscilloscope. This is, by the way, an HP 8922. And it does a whole lot of things, and oscilloscope is one of the things it does. So, with the pair of tweezers here, I'm going to turn down the uh, variable resistor real quick. And you can see, as I turn it down, you can get the signal to go away, and you can get it to come back. Alright, so, right about 0.67 volts is where this happens. And the crazy thing about this scope is it'll go right down to 20 microvolts per division. And the screen gets a little bit flickery when that happens, but uh, the tech scope will only go down to 2 millivolts per division. So let's uh, turn this back up a little bit this way so it stops flickering. Alright. And now, let's go ahead and go into... Oh, by the way, you can actually listen to it too. There's a volume knob there. And you can listen to the noise coming out of the, the circuit. That's pretty neat. Alright, so now let's hop over to the spectrum analyzer. So we've got a center frequency of 10 megs right now. We'll set the reference level a little bit lower. I believe the vertical grid here is uh, 10 dBm per division. So this is right now showing nothing because the RF input is set to aux RF in and our cable is plugged in over there to the scope input so I'll just take that and I'll move it over here to the aux RF input and then you see that our signal jumps up uh, quite nicely. So this uh, display here isn't exactly meant to be used like this. This, uh, this piece of gear runs 10 megahertz to gigahertz and this is a little bit below 10 megahertz but it'll still work. So we've got 10 megahertz in a span of 8 so that means we've got 6 megahertz down at the low end 
and then we've got uh, 14 megahertz up at the high end. So that just covers 40 meters, kind of right there. And of course we can get it to cover 20 meters, no problem. So here is the output of the noise generator, and let me again turn the potentiometer down a little bit. And you'll see that signal level dropping, and I can turn it back up. And we're back where we were. So you can see that this uh, level is going to be essentially how noisy uh, the output is. And what I'm interested in is uh, how this frequency response uh, is over, you know, a range of 100 megahertz or something like that. So 40 meters, if we just look locally, right, it, it looks pretty flat. As in, if you want to test the filter, you don't want this noise level to be going up and down, right? You want it to be fairly flat. So this does pretty well. The circuit does pretty well down at 40 meters. You can see it slightly kind of pointing downwards a little bit towards, uh, what is that, 20 meters right there. But, you know, if we're testing a filter, we're looking at it locally at small segments, so I think this will be all right. There is maybe about a whole entire division of difference, though, right? You see this, uh, the top of this uh, bit here is right on the cursor line, and the one division above is right there. So you can see the entire box. Whereas if you move over here, that entire box is kind of covered up. So this is a difference of actually about 10 dBm, so that's, that's actually significant. So now let me pop in the uh, 40 meter low pass filter. I'm going to plug in first the input to the filter and you'll see something kind of interesting. We see a response like this and we can actually go into one of its many menus right there and change the marker. So I'll scroll that marker up to about the top and I'll say we're up at 7.8 megahertz at the peak. Right, but this is a, I haven't plugged in the output that actually goes into the BNC cable, it's just the input. So now I'll switch the output from the noise circuit to the output of the filter. And now here is the low pass filter response uh, that was expected. So it does, you know, a decent job if we're 10, 20, 30 dBm down here. So, you know, it's a low pass filter and you can see that on this display. So that was a quick look at this unit here, and I plan to do a whole lot more with uh, this. And in a future video, I'm going to be building some more circuits because I can actually now visually see when things work and things don't. But unfortunately, this thing really only likes to work at 20 meters, and I've got a whole bunch of stuff set for 40 meters. So we'll see what happens. One of the next videos is going to be me taking this thing apart. I've got a new piece of gear here, and it's a roller inductor. So I didn't actually find a video of how these worked uh, online, so I thought I'd be the first one to make something like that. Maybe take off the front gear assembly and kind of show you how it works and maybe figure out a way to replicate the mechanism. And obviously this needs a little bit of repair, but that will be done in a later video. So that's all with the, uh, the noise circuit here and it seems to work just fine so I'll just go ahead and build this up and the next time you'll see it is probably in a separate video when this is all built up. Thanks for watching, uh, try to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.